Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 4, Hebelostatics. The problem says that determine the moment of force F about point O. The force has a magnitude of 800 Newton and coordinate direction angles 60, alpha is 60, beta is 120 and gamma is 45 degrees. Express the result is a Cartesian vector. So first of all, we are given the force F in terms of alpha, beta and gamma that is the coordinate direction angles. So we can say that F vector is equal to F cos of alpha i plus F cos of beta j plus F cos of gamma k. So now F is 800, the magnitude is 800, so we will write that this is 800 cos of alpha, alpha is 60 degrees plus F is again 800 cos of beta, beta is 120 and cos of 800 cos of F is 800 and cos of gamma, gamma is 45 degrees, so this is 45 degrees and this is k. So, 800 cos of 60, this gives us 400, 400 i, 800 cos of 120, 800 cos of 120, this gives us minus 400. So, this is minus 400 j, and then 800 cos of 45, 800 cos of 45. So, this is 565.68 or we can say that it is approximately 566. So, this is plus 566k. So, now we have to find the moment about point O. So, the moment about point O can be determined by using the cross product and that will be equal to the moment arm cross that force F. So, the cross product with the force and the moment arm. Now, we have to define our moment arm. So, the moment arm can be a vector, position vector from O to this point and let us say this point is C. So, we can say that R O C is the moment arm. So, let me write that this is R O C. Now, we can find R O C by traveling from O in the direction of X, Y and Z to reach that point C from O. So, to reach that point C from O, we have to travel 0.5 meters in the positive Y. So, I will write the position vector from O to C. So, we need to travel 0.5 meters in the positive J. In the positive Y means that we need to travel in the positive J. And then once we reach here, we need to travel 0.4 meters in the positive X. That is in the positive I. So, 0 0.4 in the positive I. And then we need to travel 0.3 meters in the negative z, that is in the negative k. So, that is minus 0.3 k. So, now we have to write the determinant and this is the moment about point O. So, the moment about point O in terms of determinant is, we can write it as i, j and k. And now, the components of the moment arm, the position vector from O to C, so this is 0 0.4. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 and now the components of the force that is 400, 400 minus 400 and plus 566. So, now to find the, the determinant we have to consider this as plus i, this is minus j and this is plus k and this is we need to hide this and this. So, this will be plus i into 0 0.5 into 566 like this. So, then minus minus 0 0.3 into 400 and we can write it like this and then this will be minus j right minus j and the determinant of this sub matrix. So, minus j and then, then 0 0.4 into 566 and minus minus 0 0.3 into 400 and then plus k plus k so 0 0.4 into minus 400 
minus 0 0.5 into 400. So now you people can find all these using calculator. I will use my Excel sheet to find all these determinants of sub matrices. So I have developed an Excel sheet. So I will put all those uh, values of matrix matrices. This is 0 0.4. 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.3 and then 400 uh, minus 400. This is this is minus 400 and this is 566. So we get the moment components as uh, this is this this gives us uh, 163. Then this gives us minus 346 and then this gives us minus 360. So we can write that uh, 163 i and then this is this is minus 346 so I will write minus 346 j and then minus 360 k minus 360 k so this is the moment about point O due to that force having this alpha, beta and gamma. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning.